How you going, Leo? I've got your uh, daily read for today. It should go between 5 and 15 minutes, roughly. Um, if it doesn't reason, uh, resonate, don't force it to fit. If it does resonate, can you give me a like and subscribe? Uh, we're going to use multiple decks to put the uh, triple, let alone double emphasis on the um, spiritual message and see what comes out. We're going to start straight away right now. Beautiful. We've got a little bit of sadness. Okay, a little bit of sad memories there. These two cards go hand in hand together. Uh, this is memories, nostalgia, thinking back, thinking forward, um, and we've got sadness. It can signify a broken heart uh, and wallowing um, in itself. The um, yeah, the five of cups can be loss and sadness, and when the cups with the six of cups there can show peace, but it can also show visitor. So it can show going from sadness to peace, okay, with the thoughts, okay, but it's generally signifying sadness. You can see that she's tried a lot in those cards there. You can see it's um, tried a lot, okay. Yeah, this is um, releasing fears, releasing illusion, can be um, trusting your intuition. Okay, um, we can see that um, you've tried hard. See all those cups there on the motion, falling through the foundations, okay, and the last one just kicking it out. But there is a cup of love there, okay. This is like, um, yeah, like I said, it's memories. Yeah, that's the truth. That's memories. That's nostalgia. It's thinking back, thinking forward. So if um, somebody may be thinking about you, you may be thinking about somebody, but it's um, they're sad memories in themselves. With the um, five of cups, we know that cups are emotion. Yeah, we know that cups are in themselves. They are uh, emotions, intuition, um, instincts, relationships, and love. Yeah, and the fact that it goes from the five to the six, it can show somebody going through the processes, the present moment of life. In themselves okay but it's um nostalgia and past memories that show up in the present that's the best way to say that and it may be making you a little bit sad if you're thinking about it but it's old friends old loves old memories that could potentially be, be coming back um leo you know feelings of nostalgia remembering things from the past the time to reach out to those who are close to you a beautiful mirror of a mirror of how far you've come and like i said um, you could also be just thinking back generally, okay, about how far you've come, okay, because that could be the inner child about how far you've come and, and the inner child of you thinking about the future, about your future self in the self, but it's generally sadness and loss, okay. Um, we, this is a chance to come past uh, um, traumatic events, okay, that's what that hope is in that um, the star there, which is like healing after traumatic events, but knowing you're on the right path, okay, and expecting miracles, um, it can be hope in um, sad times and expectations, wishes granted, but a renewed, sen a renewed sense of hope, yeah, we can see that, um, see the butterfly there, what is a butterfly, the butterfly is beautiful, yeah, I'm talking to a beautiful soul, I'm talking to somebody who's transforming and transform their life, okay, because that butterfly in her hand there, which is the light in her hand, it shows that she's transforming into something beautiful because it goes from the caterpillar to a butterfly and it shows the transformation there okay so with the butterfly is a butterfly a caterpillar is a caterfly a caterpillar a butterfly but they're technically seen as two different you know, do you know what i mean but the transformation is there and we're going to try with the hope and then re renewed sense of hope and then healing past those traumatic events and leaving that stuff in the past we're going to try and embrace this um this beautiful energy here of the um the inspiration of those wands there you know we know that wands are the willpower and strength of who we are and we know that wands are creativity and passion inspiration and their energy okay and that's the truth and wands are also they address the core self and life force of your spirit yeah we can see that there's the underlining energies of that hope there is you're you're trying to fill your world with light and, and boldly expressing yourself in some sort of way and be brave right now, pursuing those dreams and impulsivity and having the confidence, you know, building that queendom or kingdom, you know, the power and intensity and love. She's come back out again. Release any fears at this moment. Spirit saying release any fears at this moment. Trust your intuition, okay? With that card there, okay, and then this card, which is the underlining energy, this is like, I want to show you something. This is the coolest way to look at this. The star before it is wishes granted. Okay, that's the truth, is wishes granted. Okay. Yeah, see. Wishes granted. I'll put it there like that. Is wishes granted. Okay, and this is the wish it's like the genie, acting like a genie. So you make a wish here in this card with your hope and your love and your expectations of a beautiful world here, of this card here, of this um hope and expectations and wishes granted. And then this card is like jumping for joy to grab that wish, okay? So you can see in this card here. And the underlining energies of what you may not be able to see, okay, because that's why we're releasing fears around this card, because that's the way it come out, was this is on top, okay, 
and then this is on the bottom there it shows the underlying energies of the moon energy and what's this mean this means i trust my intuition and i float into my future and i trust my intuition and i face my fears with tenacity and strength this is the water and nature the un unconscious watered nature of the the mind i suppose um it's mystery and symbol symbolism and metaphors and perception you know different perceptions see how she's look, looking up at that emotion okay because we do have somebody that's looking back and a very emotional time at the present moment but we're trying to walk past that with faith and faith and walk past that with um having to release those traumatic events and, and embrace that hope that hope of what life really is and with this card here it shows that that there are powerful visions and a spiritual experience and 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 you trust your your intuition as you float towards your future you know and that's what that nine of cups is is the nine of cups is is gifts from the universe coming to you as we can see that you you wish for it the card before it so to release any um fears at the present moment and trust your intuition that the, the the beautiful gifts are going to come in and this is dreams manifested and this is getting your rewards and seeking fulfillment and satisfaction because it's the nine of cups the next step is the ten of cups um this is gifts and, and positive messages from spirit that's what that is is a positive message from spirit that's your connection to the divine we can see that there with your hope and your love leo and we can see that it's time to trust your intuition and know good things are about to come in especially with that card there at the end of the day, this is like we can create in our hearts, our heart's desire. And, and in that is, is what we choose. And our, in that life is what we choose. And, and, and the one that we build and the one that is reflected back to us because that's reflection there in itself, isn't it? Reflected back to us. And there's your reflection is through the giving strings of our universe. The strings of our universe, literally. Reflected back through the giving strings of our universe. Word for word. It's like a beautiful way. Thank you, Spirit. It's like a beautiful way, but it's a rainbow of recognition for how far you've come. And like I said, that's a gift from the universe. You may not be able to see it because we are nostalgic at the moment and thinking about those things and having that little bit of mental confusion. See, that's what that is, mental confusion, deception within the mindset. Okay, And that's why spirits were saying release those fears and see how abundant you are and how far you've come and the confidence and beauty that's within you as a soul that you are leo to be able to release those fears trust that intuition and and and, and both of them have got moons there see and what is the moon like i said before is trusting your intuition it's facing your fears and it's the water watery nature of the unconscious mind but it's the mystery and the metaphor of that and you know the dreams and the powerful visions and we can see that in that card so you don't want to deceive yourself out of it because that's what that card is is the of the seven of swords it shows the deception in itself you know and you can see that um he's armed with um what he's armed with in that seven of swords there is um the beautiful black uh feathers you know, and white feathers are purity of thought. And, you know, when you see a white feather, they're purity of thought. And when you see a black feather, see the black feathers? They're your angels coming to protect you from evil spirits. So you don't need to worry about your fears. You can release and have that beautiful, beautiful ambition of who you are. And know that with fearlessness, you can step forward with your abundance. Whether you're not, you, don't, you may not have any money, but it's more the abundance of your soul as the pinnacles of material world and the nature, resources, finances, and health, yeah? But they're also they're they active the aspects of life you know that we have our environment and the body and physical health of who we are and knowing that we walk towards a beautiful tomorrow of 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 considered actions and the materials and interests and buildings and possessions and paid profits and the businesses and the labor that we put into ourselves let alone business in the way of um that beautiful life and having that signs and synchronicities and serendipity to know that anything's possible in our universe the Seven of Swords is a can indicate deception or trickery, and we don't want to deceive ourselves. Okay, it also can be um, being held back by imposter syndrome as well. So that's why we release those fears, and that would be in a little bit of imposter syndrome by knowing that bad things have happened to us and thinking about those memories, so nothing good can come. That's where that hope comes into it with that star and releasing those fears with that moon in order to release those deceptions or any type of things in the universe. Look, this is a card of the universe bearing witness to people's true intentions okay so whatever broke your heart there it's like the universe is 
bearing witness. Yeah, it's trapped two in your mind. Look, the two fives there. Yeah, I've shuffled the cards to give me extra emphasis on this, on the deception there. But we can see with that deception there, that's hollow victories. It can be stress. It can be, this is acting from a place of love and knowing the universe is, will see your true intentions. And then you can see it here with the sadness. And then with this is my lessons move me ahead into the future. So I'm always able to grow and, and build my skills, build my confidence and build my opportunities to experience what life has for me, whether it's conflict and, and growing from that conflict, whether it's challenging times and growing from that challenging time, you'll have to let it go down the drain. And I think it's playing on your mind because we have the nostalgia there next to it but you can see you have hope and we need to release those fears and release that stuff so we can have and trust in faith that we get our ascension and trust and have faith in the, in the inner guru if you can't have faith in that have the inner guru if you can't have faith in that have faith in your ancestors and your spirit guides you know who are living live on around you and hold your hand for those times and have that confidence in your beautiful heart to know that you know you 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 will be fairly justifiably treated through um that confidence you know and you shouldn't feel guilty about any victories and and you shouldn't feel guilty about winning at all costs and you shouldn't feel guilty about moving forward in life knowing you're a beautiful person yeah spirit's trying to pull you towards it and trying to pull you away from it everybody's reaching for that light but this is conflict spirit's trying to pull you around it pull you away from any des deception or conflicts and release any fears in your life in order to have that beautiful ten of cups because we do have the nine of cups come out before which is the joy which leads to the ten of cups which so shows the trajectory of life and and how you can have that for yourself and have those dreams that manifest you know, the spirit's trying to pull you away and say you're juggling thoughts. That's what that is, the juggling thoughts, okay, over the painful endings and the painful crises. But see, this card says it the best way. Yeah, it's stabbed in the back, but at this stage, you've had all of them pulled out. Spirit says, I got you. I'll pull you to the right direction. I got you. No more need to juggle. Leave the baggage there. Throw it away. Leave it, leave it there and embrace that light for what it is. Yeah, because they were moons which show releasing those fears and that emotion there that's evolved. But then we've got to the Ten of Swords, which says, you know, it's already happened now and it's time to stop juggling those thoughts so we can have a beautiful tomorrow. Plan a beautiful world for tomorrow. That's the world's in front of you, yeah? And have all that beautiful, beautiful serendipity and inner peace that Spirit wants to give you so you move ahead, you know, from your lessons. Always, always. Last card before we go to the next one. It literally come back out. You're juggling thoughts. We need to release, leave that baggage at the door and embrace more unconditional love in our life and have that beautiful serendipity of who we are because you are presence. You are life. You know, like Renye said, you think therefore you are. So you are life and you are presence. And within that presence gives you the chance to be the guru of your reality and the chance of birthing anything you want. Just got to nurture it through and so you can see another moon here so release those fears and show that emotional side and release it see but that release those baggages and those thoughts there in themselves yeah so you can co-create with the divine and have a beautiful life literally i'm not even looking at the cards there's there's your beautiful life co-create with the divine because that is the divine in our star our sun as you hope for a beautiful tomorrow this is the proof the the positive outcome that comes around of you being well grounded and coming through the hard times in your life to be able to release those sadnesses and those victories come come in and give you exactly the hope and that releasing that trauma and having that that beautiful connection with the divine you know so we are going on now to our next deck, Leo, so we can um, have a look a bit under this uh, Five of Swords, but we can see that there's juggling thoughts there. Juggling thoughts. Thoughts. Juggling. Yeah, thoughts. Look. The cards don't lie. They tell the truth, especially when you're very good at what you can do. This is going within, and this is thoughts, it's thinking. It's allowing the light to lead you on your journey as well. The Hermit is a beautiful card. It's, it's showing you can go within and have exactly what you want, and it shows within the Hermit that you are the inner reflection, as we are talking about reflections before, through meditation and contemplation and soul searching, that you can have that inner wisdom and be witness a brightly lit heart. Witness a brightly lit heart, okay? So that's the truth. What have we got under the deck? Juggling, same card that was before it. Juggling thoughts, juggling theories. But see, here's another way to look at it. You know, as you witness a brightly lit heart and that light leads you towards the next direction and you juggle those thoughts, but understand that those thoughts can lead you towards equilibrium because I do have thoughts and nostalgia above that with the Six of Cups. You know, but there's hope there. There's hope there. There's massive hope. Yeah. You are the queen of love. You are emotionally, intuitively intelligent. You deserve everything that is beautiful in this world and nothing less, especially with that hope of that star card next to it. 
It shows that you have the ability to be the joyful and mean and have those meaningful connections in life and, and love with compassion and creativity and have that emotional and intuitive intelligence which builds you up to know that there's going to be a beautiful tomorrow and, and you know, have that motivation, you know, of knowing that everything is going to be amazing for you at 1444 one, four, four, four on the clock there. Just pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, those little flowers and the, the sage of house and, and can just have beautiful things, yeah, beautiful thoughts. Beautiful thoughts will manifest a beautiful future. You know, we often create with our mind and our heart, you know, so in like such a way that is such is right, you know, and, and what would happen if you would gift yourself, which is the gift to it next, of exactly what you wanted, you would smile beautifully and it's like spirit's going to give it to you, but you just have to release the baggage and release the burdens and stop allowing that burdens to hold you down because we can wake up to a beautiful tomorrow with positivity in our heart and, and what would happen to two days to create something to let your heart be just beautiful tomorrow, no rules, no strategies strategy, no logic, what would you do? You would go and have the best time ever and you would have that beautiful experience that Spirit's trying to give you. See, the Ten of Cups, that completion that completes you out and you would hold on to that value and know with justice and natural law and balance that it would literally bring you towards a beautiful tomorrow. Now we're going straight under that star now on the Queen of Cups. Oh, something's flipped. Oh. Yeah, look. Yeah. That's a beautiful card. That's that's like the best the best way to say this card, right? And and to have that um, it's the King of Wands, right? The King of Wands is somebody who boldly expresses themselves with fearless fearlessness. That's an entrepreneur. It's an inspirational success, and, and it's also big visions. So if you're going to make a wish, Spirit says make it a big one. It's because above that is a star. What do we got under the deck? Yeah, learning through life. Oh wow, right. I love these two cards together, right? This is beautiful, yeah? This is my trials and tribulations card. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows. This is learning the lessons in life in order to be able to step forward to a better tomorrow and be able to use the things that you've learned in your life. So if you've come through sadness where you continually think about all the broken hearts, all you do is know that tomorrow is a better day tomorrow. And I know it's hard. I know it's it's so hard. It's hard asking someone who um, has gone through it in their life to be, to just move on and start again and you know love again because that's the reason that you're sad in the first place. And it's hard, I know, but at least you learn those lessons to be able to love again tomorrow, love what it is. And if you don't love again tomorrow, love yourself. And if you don't love that, love, love yourself your family, your pets, love love something, love a flower, love just waking up tomorrow so you can s skip the ideas of um, all the horrible stuff and that's where the interconnectedness comes in to be able to lead us tomorrow, tomorrow to a beautiful tomorrow. This card here at the top here shows us to rely on our intellect and the things that we've gone through with life experience and to learn because pages in themselves, they're focused on the internal, yeah, of that hermit. And they also, they're the vents, they're messages and the messengers in themselves to show that we can learn in our life. That's why I say the Trolls and Tribulations card. This one's about the growth of life and this one's about the intellect of life and, and being able to grow in life and be able to, so if you want to love again, as Spirit says, I'll pull you in that right direction. And with the moon there, with the Page of Pentacles, that says release any fears so you can step towards your next journey. And the Seven of Swords with the Page of Swords says release any deception because you have the logic and intellect to be able to step towards anything you want. What, that doesn't have to be, that is love in itself, okay? That is love in itself, a, an unconditional love of co-creating with the divine, but a given and receiving love that could potentially lead to marriage on a pursuit there. Look, the cards, the cards speak it, that, with that level up, the card there that's, that's there. But you can see there's two people offering. If you're the unconditional love there in your heart, that you co-create out of the purity of your heart, there's a beautiful finish or a beautiful start there because that's a finish line, but that's also a card of marriage and it's a card of giving and receiving love. As you can see, the cards, they come through the way that they're supposed to come through. The Spirit's trying to pull you towards a whatever you want yeah that's the truth Leo like whatever you want in life you know have that synchronicity spark and and and, and rise like the phoenix rise like that phoenix and have the visions of, of another you that builds you to better to be the strongest most beautiful tomorrow it literally came back out again release any fears at the present moment and trust your intuition there's a beginning coming okay and that's the transition there's a new beginning coming in love in some sort of way something that you love and it's going to be strong okay that's going to help you grow in life Okay, so stop juggling the thoughts and get ready for that joy that's coming in. Okay, because there's action and that's divine masculine as well. But there's action, like that's the card, the six to the six of six. 
So as spirits pulls you through the six of swords, it brings you towards this giving and receiving. What you give out to the universe, you get back tenfold. And look at the balance that's there. And that's co-creating with the divine in order to relieve these ten swords and know that know that every spirit bears witness to every single thing that happens. So if people could see the world that I live in, nobody would do anything wrong because they know that tomorrow they'd be judged on every single thing they do. So beautiful souls like yourself, Leo, can be able to step forward tomorrow, lease the baggage and live in a beautiful world unapologetically yourself beat to your own drum whatever that is beat to your own drum allow these sadness and these trickeries and these deceptions and these ba and put there you go look that says it thank you spirit all right thank you yeah i'll do that all right this is beat to your own drum unapologetically yourself okay that's spiritual mentor whatever you want in your reflection whatever your soul is searching for you witness that bright and lit heart of who you are and unapologetically be yourself yeah and not have these 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 worries okay all over the five of cups and i know like i said before it's hard to ask somebody to go who has gone through horrible times in their life to just release it but the best part about that is you get to learn in life that page of swords to be able to use your intellect for a better tomorrow they may trick you they may stress you they may deceive you they may make you stay up all night long but the best part about it is you get to learn so you can be this resilience and strength and know in your heart of how strong and beautiful you are for a better tomorrow putting those boundaries in place so when your new journey comes along they can't walk all over your ten of cups yeah and you can have that enthusiasm to know to release those fears that god is watching our faith our divine spirit our our soul of all the you know the inner self is there your angels your ancestors it's oh a tear just ran down my eye it can ah uh, uh, somebody's really sad all right okay um oh wow my eyes just watered up instantly then just trust that the faith is there okay faith in faith faith in faith to release and let go knowing that your intellect is there and you are a beautiful person look can't speak for themselves Back to this card, unapologetically be yourself. You're a lovely soul. You're a lovely soul. If you weren't a lovely soul, you wouldn't be sitting here watching this. You'd be off doing horrible stuff and that devil energy, yeah? Cre create more pain for other people. But the fact that you're here watching this shows that you're able to step forward knowing damn well you're a beautiful person. We have one more card before I flip the decks. You worked hard, and it's hard work to get away from these things. It's, I literally, you just heard me shuffle the deck. I literally just sprinted it, so it gave me the same cards back again. Same cards straight back again, but this time it gave me this card. It shows that the, it's hard work to get through these things. With night, nights are, with two nights in a row, it shows that um, the focus is on the external and the movement that's there that's guaranteed, okay, because you act. Now, this one says you act out of an unconditionally loving heart and who you are to beat to your own drum. And this one says that you put in the hard work and diligence and determination to be the beautiful person you are. And, and we're juggling the thoughts, okay? And we can see that you're juggling the thoughts here as it literally steps off into the new journey, infectious enthusiasm and releasing it all. Literally, I just shuffled the cards like this. And I didn't just shuffle the cards, I go like this, see? So it shuffles the cards. So I'm out. You just heard me. Yeah? Shuffle the cards and come back out again, yeah? Because you put the hard work and the determination into exactly who you are with action to be able to take in your journey and go on it with joy and have that victory as you move towards and, and, and the pentacles. Uh, the, it doesn't have to be a man or a female, but something that's abundant in your life and you're planning for it because the world's in front of you. So it's time to release all that stuff that leaves you out in the cold. They might have left you out in the cold, but it's time to complete it with the world there. It gives you the chance to complete the memories. See the memories, the same card there of that legacy that was created so you can release them burdens and move on holding your value and true value and move towards what spirit wants you to have, which is not to be deceived and, and release all trickeries and deceptions and have that faith. There it is again, that faith that is, is, is fated in your journey to be able to release and have those intellectual moments that bring you towards your literally that last card is success that la last card is literally success we only got a couple more cards to go and then we can go so we start with the hermit this is how this is the card we started with so introspection going within double emphasis on hermiting and and you may have pulled yourself away from the world you may have pulled yourself away from the world but it literally says it's time to co-create with the divine and be unapologetically yourself see yeah, it's time for a new beginning and, and have that transformation at two, three, four, five on the clock. That is definite signs from the universe to say it's time to have that, leave the chaos of the, of the busy world out and, and hermit, I suppose, but don't withdraw too much, but have that experience in finding the guide within in order to step step forward to a beautiful tomorrow and having that logic that 
King of Voices is logic. It's somebody, the King of Voices, there's two swords in that card. The Two of Swords is choice, all right? The Two of Swords in that card shows that you have leveled up to the King energy where you are able to step off in the new direction with logic in your mind, knowing damn well that there's a victory around the corner as you manifest joy, literally straight into joy, and have those beautiful things in life. Look, we've got, we've got somebody here with the chariot, which is manifesting those new things into your life with joy. Look, see the journey, see the... See, the universe is going to give you a gift. See, see the gen genie there, and look, it's a genie there. See, all of those, the, all those beautiful crystals there, which shows that you're going to have that joy in your life, okay? Because that's joy, family, friendship, everything. That is, that is the three of cups. Two of cups is two people offering love. Three of cups is a unity of people, but it can be joy, symbolizing uh, brotherhood, sisterhood, having your uh, spirit family, and all those beautiful things, because that's what you're manifesting. See, manifesting like a beast. All your elements are there for you to be able to be the best version of yourself as you unapologetically be yourself. Finish off that Ten of Swords with the completion there. Stop juggling those thoughts, which are hard. It's hard work to do. But then we've got this one last card, and then it brings it all down to this one last card, which is manifesting. Boom. Something shocking. Something beautiful that's going to change your foundation in love. So that's the love there. And it's going to look at that. Look, it's fated for you to be happy. Fate of that karmic wheel is fated for you to release and be happy. You see, we draw the diviner's hands. Okay, we draw the diviner's hands. Okay, and you can see the hand is coming out to flower you as you run through life from your journey onwards here. I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. And take care, Leah.